Dark matter has remained a mystery for many years. We are constantly trying to find out more about this phenomenon. So what is it? Dark matter makes up 27% of our universe, compared to only 5% of visible matter. This means everything we see is only a tiny fragment of reality. Dark matter doesn't absorb, emit or reflect light, so it can't be detected by observing electromagnetic radiation. We have been speculating about what dark matter is and have put forward many ideas for what it could be. One of the first candidates was MACHOs, massive astrophysical compact halo objects, which include neutron stars and white dwarfs. Although these objects are made from ordinary matter, they hardly emit any light. However, there aren't nearly enough machos to account for all the dark matter in the universe. Another candidate for dark matter is neutrinos, which are the most abundant particles in the universe formed from nuclear reactions in stars. They don't produce light and barely interact with other particles, making them a prime candidate. However, there is a problem. Neutrinos are travelling way too fast to clump together like dark matter is observed to do, so this can't be right. Or maybe there's a super heavy neutrino that we haven't discovered yet which could make this work. Another candidate is WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles, which are hypothetical particles which could have been produced in the Big Bang. However, if we can't detect dark matter, how can we be sure it exists? Scientists have collected a lot of evidence over the past 80 plus years, one of them being the rotational curves of stars and galaxies. To demonstrate this, let's look at a star in our galaxy. We will only be needing some basic physics equations and some reasonable assumptions. Assumption 1. The star has a perfectly circular orbit. This allows us to use the equation for centripetal force. Assumption 2. As most of the mass of the galaxy is concentrated in the center, let's make the mass of the galaxy a constant. Now, we can use the equation for gravitational force and equate it to the equation for centripetal force. After some rearranging, you should arrive at the following relation. The velocity of the star is inversely proportional to the square root of the distance from the center of the galaxy. Now, plotting this on a graph and comparing it with the observed results, we can see that there is a discrepancy between them. This implies that the actual mass of the galaxy must be much greater than the observed mass. So where is this extra mass coming from? Scientists concluded that the extra mass must be contributed by dark matter. Another piece of evidence for the existence of dark matter is called gravitational lensing. Massive galaxies create gravitational fields that distort and magnify light from distant galaxies, which are behind them in the same line of sight. The amount of deflection calls can be used to calculate the mass of the galaxy. In the diagram shown, we can see that the massive galaxy's distortion of the light from the distant galaxy causes two images to be seen by the telescope. Ideally, the Earth, massive galaxy, and source of background light must be in perfect alignment. When this occurs, we are able to see two images of the same distant object. When the alignment is slightly off, the light is distorted into an arc curving around the massive galaxy. Astronomers calculate the mass of the visible light in the galaxy by using its rotational velocity and then determine the total mass needed for the light to be deflected as much as it does. Astronomers saw that the amount of mass needed to deflect the light was far beyond the amount of visible matter that we could see, and so they deducted that there must be dark matter that we cannot see providing this extra mass. As for current research, an international team of researchers has created the largest and most detailed map of the distribution of dark matter in the universe. The results are surprising as they show that dark matter is slightly smoother and more spread out than the current theories predict. The observation appears to stray from Einstein's theory of general relativity posing a conundrum for researchers. To better gather data about dark matter, China's Dark Matter Particle Explorer DAMP, was launched in December of 2015. It had the widest range of observation energy and the best energy resolution in the world. DAMP is a space telescope that detects high-energy gamma rays, electrons, and cosmic rays ions to try to identify dark matter signatures. 
on 19th May this year, cause the full name is Purple Mountain Observatory Chinese Academy of Science released the third batch of scientific research results on DAMP. Using DAMP's detection capability, researchers have obtained the latest results of precise spectral measurements of cosmic ray helium nucleus.